Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest places that dark tourists love. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at destinations and attractions around the world that are famous for spooky or disturbing reasons. Number 10. Bielitz Hirschstatten Hospital, Germany Hospitals, in general, often tend to put people on edge. An abandoned hospital, however? Well, there's a reason that they're such a staple in the horror genre. Buildings left in disrepair are generally creepy, but with a hospital, it's a particularly haunting blend. This once sterile place, where people were at their most vulnerable and underwent surgery, has been left to decay and crumble. Located in Germany, Bielitz Hilstatten Hospital ups the ante with its dark history. Constructed in the late 19th century, it originally held patients with fatal lung conditions like tuberculosis. It was later converted into a military hospital for both world wars. Adding to the hospital's sinister resume, Adolf Hitler himself was reportedly treated there when he was just a soldier. Much of the building is cordoned off, but it still makes quite the impression. Number 9. Transylvania Romania when a destination has become so intimately intertwined with the supernatural, at least in popular culture, it's going to attract a certain kind of tourist. Just say the word Transylvania. There's a strong desire to put on a spooky voice inspired by vampire films of old. This is largely thanks to Bram Stoker's hugely influential novel Dracula, for which the author used Transylvania as the setting. The entire region has a compelling old world aesthetic to it, but Bran Castle is the destination that has become the biggest draw for those seeking vampiric vibes. While in Romania, dark tourists will also want to check out Hoya Bachu Forest, sometimes called the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. Those who venture into the spooky forest often report an overwhelming sense of anxiety. While others have come back with unexplainable rashes or nausea, others still have reported ghosts, UFOs or have disappeared altogether. Visit at your own risk. Number 8. Centralia, United States Most of the destinations on our list today require a bit of imagination. For the most part, their scare factor is rooted in history, spooky stories and local lore. In Pennsylvania, however, there's a town that comes just as advertised. A place of ruin where hell itself appears to be trying to burst through the ground and claim the land as its own. Welcome to Centralia! In 1962, the coal mine underneath this town caught fire, and to this day, it has never stopped burning. Attempts were made to put out this subterranean blaze, but to no avail. The town was largely abandoned by the mid-80s and officially condemned in the early 90s. Today, the cracked roads, crumbling buildings and smoke rising from the ground itself all make Centralia feel utterly surreal. A few residents remain, but the whole place feels like the apocalypse. Number 7. Savannah, United States Alright, looking for something a bit more supernatural? Then it's time to book your trip to Savannah, Georgia. This city in the southern United States wears many faces. On the one hand, it's absolutely stunning, and it's home to what many have claimed is the country's most beautiful street, Jones Street. It's also a hub for the arts thanks to the local college and has established itself as a major destination for bachelor and bachelorette parties. It's also super freaking haunted, supposedly. Ghosts of Southern Bells, Pirate Ghosts, Savannah has it all. There are a number of ghost tours operating in the city and the guides do a great job of walking you through the many creepy tales from throughout the history of Savannah. If you're looking for your own supernatural encounter, Forsyth Park is rumoured to be something of a hotbed of spectral sightings. Number 6. Catacombs, France Honestly, if we were talking about this destination in isolation, it would be at the very top of our list. Unfortunately, the catacombs of Paris suffer for their popularity. The line is often a few hours long, and even once you're in, it can feel crowded. And so, it winds up at number 6 on our list. With that being said, we think that the catacombs are still well worth the wait. This underground ossuary contains the bones of millions of people. 
It's a fascinatingly macabre attraction that was actually built out of necessity. In the mid-18th century, the cemeteries of Paris were quite literally overflowing. More of just a pile of bones, however, the catacombs capture the imagination with the carefully stacked skeletal walls and compelling designs. If you can't get enough of bones, you should also check out the Sedlet Ossuary in the Czech Republic. Number 5. Bangor Fort, India Do you believe in curses? If so, you might want to steer clear of this particular destination. Of course, if you're fascinated by them, it's time to start planning your trip to India. Conveniently located just about 100 miles from Delhi, this historic Bangor Fort is a crumbling relic of a bygone era. Local legend tells of a vengeful sorcerer who, after being scorned by the object of his affection, the local princess, placed a deadly curse upon the entire structure. Another story tells of a local holy man cursing any building that eclipsed his home in size, which the fort presumably did. Whatever the specifics today, the fort is considered to be among the most haunted places in the entire country. The crumbling structure makes for an absolutely fascinating visit, but consider yourself warned, it's strictly forbidden to remain after sundown. Number 4. Pripyat, Ukraine There are plenty of ghost towns to explore around the world, but in terms of size, there are few that can hold a candle to Pripyat, Ukraine. In fact, though still called a ghost town, Pripyat was actually given city status in 1979. Just seven years later, however, all of its nearly 50,000 residents were evacuated following the Chernobyl disaster. It's this tragic history, paired with the sheer size of the area abandoned, that makes this such a compelling destination for anyone with an interest in dark and spooky. Today, the radiation is considered to be relatively safe, at least for short visits, and a number of tour companies have packages that take you into this grim and haunting abandoned city. Because families had mere hours to pack up, many of their possessions were left behind, making it feel like one big unnerving time capsule. Number 3. Aokigahara Forest, Japan For this next one, we ask that anyone who does choose to visit do with the utmost respect. Located on the northwestern foot of Mount Fuji in Yamanashi Prefecture, Aokigahara is a beautiful forest that has long been popular both with tourists and school trips, at least certain parts of it. As you travel deeper into the forest, the trees become quite dense. Add to that the sound dampening effects of the lava rock that dominates the area, and the solitude can become almost overwhelming. As documented and referenced in a wide variety of media, including two major American films, Aokigahara is a place where many people have gone with dark purpose. The forest has a long association with death and is said to be populated by ghosts called Yurai. Today, visitors to the forest will see signs urging anyone emotionally struggling to seek help. Number 2. Sagada, Philippines Sorry folks, but dark and creepy is what you asked for, so that's what you get. Now, if you thought catacombs and ossuaries were strange places to lay the dead to rest, you won't believe how things are done in Sagada. A community of roughly 11,000 people in the Philippines' mountain province, Sagada places the deceased in coffins and then suspends them from a cliff or cave wall. This is a long-standing tradition in the area, dating back some 2,000 years or more. And though it might sound like something from a bygone era, it's still regularly done today. Historically, the practice had to do with social status, but was also just a practical way to protect the dead from animal scavengers without giving up scarce farmland to a cemetery. Number 1. Isla de la Muñecas, Mexico this one's really got it all. A surprisingly beautiful environment, a bit of adventure getting there, instantly spooky sights to greet you upon your arrival, and a terrifying local legend to wrap it all up. Xochimilco is a popular tourist destination in Mexico, located in one of Mexico City's outer boroughs. Here, the canals are full of colourful boats called trajineras providing a relaxing way to explore this unique natural space. It's an altogether fun, serene experience. That is, until you reach the Isla de la Muñecas. Here on this strange little island in Tezuilo Lake, an eccentric local man by the name of Don Julian Santana strung up hundreds of dolls from the trees before his passing in 2001, 
According to the locals and his family, this was supposedly inspired by a body he found in the water. The dolls were apparently his attempt to appease its spirit. While some dismiss this origin story, the end result is nonetheless terrifying. Uh, I mean, striking. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.